Are you ready to find the whole truth of what's going on? Always. I knew you would. You already believe they're after me, and you're right. I want to have proof in my hand saying why. The truth always comes out. It will. And then I can finally follow in the footsteps of Odysseus. So long as your search for glory never ends, your name will be remembered. Perhaps they'll sing your name as well in the songs they write about me. If you want to find the truth, we need a clue. What about the notes you found? From the leader of Megaris. He's planning something. If there's proof he's after you, it would be at his home. I could check. You would do that for me? I'll find the proof you need. Good. I want this whole thing to be over. Do you have any idea what I'm looking for? The leader is the most powerful man in Megaris. I can't accuse him of anything unless I have proof that he's after me. Let's say I do find the truth you're looking for. What next? Then I'd tell everyone who would listen. The leader wouldn't dare kill me or my father once everyone knows their plans. I'll be back with proof, whatever it may be. I should head to the leader's house to find out what's going on. Come on. Yeah! I should watch my step around here. Anyone there? I think I'm seeing things. I 
I need to find who's doing that. You need to stop that now. That's the place. Any proof to be found should be there. I need to be careful. This place is heavily guarded. This letter claims that Odessa hired other mercenaries. I wonder why. The leader of Megaris tried arranging a marriage for Odessa. Sounds like an easy way to get her father's estate. This letter mentions Odessa's estate, and how crucial it is that they get it. By any means necessary. One of Odessa's suitors died mysteriously, shortly after meeting her. I think I have enough to go on. I should return to Odessa. of Megaris is after Odessa's estate, and he's tried arranging a marriage for her to take control of it after her father dies. But these letters also claim one of her suitors was killed, and nobody's sure how. Though she's been known to hire other mercenaries. It's difficult to tell if Odessa is in the wrong or not. You've returned. I hope with good news. I'm not sure if it's good or not yet. There were two pieces of proof I found that they're after you. Perfect. What were the reasons? One was due to your family's wealth. The other had to do with an arranged marriage. That's plenty of proof showing I'm the victim here. 
you've hired other mercenaries. Oh, just for odd jobs here and there. There's always something to be done that could use one. A man you were meant to marry was killed suddenly. I... He was probably killed by the same people who want to kill me. After everything I found, I know what's going on. And what's that? You started this all. They don't want you dead because of your family's wealth. You're only pretending to be a victim. I'd even guess the man you were supposed to marry was killed by the mercenary you hired. I asked you to help me, not blame me. You were supposed to bring me the truth that would allow me to start my journey. Don't worry. You will soon. My life is being wasted standing around here. A lot can happen in a small amount of time. Trust me. So that's it then. I guess there's nothing else to do. It doesn't have to be goodbye. Why not join my crew? After you sided against me and said it was my fault? You deserved it. But you still almost tricked me into believing you were fully innocent. It was impressive. Thanks, I think. Plus, your father should be fine now that you have proof they've wanted you both out of the picture. They wouldn't dare attack him while you're gone. So, what do you say? <sighs> fine. What else am I going to do? That's the spirit? They won't ask any questions. Best keep out of sight. <laughs> What's 
someone trying to mess with me?
Who's making that noise?
Definitely something there. Hmm. Everything's quiet. <sighs>
Time for a ride. Now the Athenian leader is dead. I should return to Stentor. Off we go now. Feel free to take a look. to you. Off we go now. Come on.
I hear good things from my commander's mercenary. What news do you have? The Athenian commander is dead. Megaris is ready to fall. Good. The wolf has ordered the attack. I'm glad you're here to join us in our march to glory. I'm proud to fight by your side. Yes, you have earned your place. We will win the day for Sparta and the Wolf. Come, we must reach the forward camp. I am ready. Follow me. We must prepare for the battle ahead. Tell me about the Wolf. He is a great man. He will lead Sparta to victory against the... No, no. What's he like as a man? As a father? He... Uh, he used to be admired. Strong, caring in his way, but sometimes I... Yes? Nothing. Just... He gets this faraway look in his eyes. And I sense the sadness there. He... This won't be like any other battle I've been a part of. Are you ready to crush the Athenians? I'm ready for war. Yeah! 
The wolf requests the presence of the mercenary. We shall be up to him in a moment. With respect, he wishes to see the mercenary alone. What? I said the commander I wishes... I heard what you said. I just don't understand why. Those were his orders, sir. Very well. It appears I have other matters to attend to. This is it. What do I even say? So you are the champion who won us today. Tell me your name, hero, so that I may greet you as a true warrior. Here, Pater. It's been a long time. Impossible. I saw you fall. I didn't fall. You fucking threw me to my death! I did what was required of me as a Spartan. I've made my peace with that. You need to as well. You are my father. You are supposed to protect me. You were reckless. You forced my hand. I was protecting my sister because you wouldn't! The Oracle decreed that Cassandra had to die. Her word is absolute. You know that. You can't cower behind your sense of duty anymore! Enough! can't change the past, Alexios. I will live and die a Spartan. There's a large reward for the mercenary who can collect the wolf's head. Is that why you're here? You've avoided the past long enough! Now you will answer to me! Though you deserve death, there is no honor in vengeance. You must face the ghost of your past, Pater. And that is a fate worse than death. I have failed in my duty. I failed to protect you. To protect both of you. I loved you and your sister. As if you were truly my own. But you were never mine. What do you mean? That is a question you should ask your mother. Wait. Find your mother. 
Pathfinder. Whatever Nene is, she knows far more than I do. Where will you go? To find my honor. Beware of the snakes in the grass, Alexios. I need to get out of here. I should head back to Varnavas. Let's go, Phobos. Come on, come on. Ella. So, did you kill your father? Step, father. I suppose the gods won't judge you too harshly for a step patricide. Nikolaus raised me, trained me. He was my father, even if he did try to kill me. Is that better or worse? No matter. Yours isn't the only complicated family in the world. I'm glad to have you around, Varnavas. I'm happy to be here. Would anything else help? Finding my mother. She's alive, Varnavas. At least, Nikolaus thought so. Some good news, praise Ida. What's your plan? What course should I set, Captain? For now, we go to Fokis. Elpinor said he'd meet me there. He owes me money. And an explanation. I, Alexios. And let's seek the wisdom of the Pythia while we're there. If anyone has answers for you, it's the Oracle of Delphi. destroyed my family. The Pythia has the wisdom of Apollo himself. 
Now, I'll admit, if people choose to ignore her, they might court disaster. If we ignore the Pythia, my sister would still be alive, and our mother would be safe at home. Hmm. Back to business. You know where to meet Elpinor, I suppose? His home is in Pilgrim's Landing. But Nikolaus's last words to me were a warning of snakes in the grass. Sounds like you should make extra preparations. Elpinor is the one who should prepare. Meet me at Apollo's temple in Delphi when you're done dealing with the snakes. Oh, and Alexios, in all the excitement I nearly forgot. Terrible things have happened to your home. That old house, it was barely standing to begin with. I meant Kefalonia. A sickness has spread across the island. They say it started in Kausos. There doesn't seem to be a cure. Many have died. Malaka, that priest was right. Just say the word. We can return to Kefalonia whenever you wish. Thanks for Navas. I'll keep that in mind. Let's go. Elpinor has a lot of explaining to do. Position to sail. Nice to see you, Commander. We should pick up that salvage. We want to know of any approaching enemy ships. With us today, Alexios. The sea is calm and the winds are warm. It's beautiful. It is, my friend. It sure is. Lower sail! Sails up! Archers, we need you! Ah! Oh, he's open. Going to hit us! Yeah. Oh, no. 
let's go. I should be extra careful in this area.
I hope this oracle gives better news than the one in Sparta. The sanctuary of their Gods themselves watch over this land. Remarkable. We're so close to the gods, I can feel Apollo all around me. How did it go with Elbinon? We can talk later in private. Who's this? Just a simple pilgrim. He just saw the oracle. I couldn't help but ask if she's as glorious as they say. Well, is she? She left me with more questions than answers. That's the oracle for you. you showing a bit more secrecy. Well, it's just he seemed interested in legends. Like you. I, I thought you might get along. How did... did... You know my spear just by looking at it? You're more than some simple pilgrim. All things in Delphi are more than they appear. Even I. My name is Herodotus. I'm a storyteller. Or I was. This war is forcing us all to new extremes. <laughs> that much is true. 
Why are you hiding your identity? I'm here on behalf of a man in Athens. A very powerful man. We intend to finally end this war. You told me you came to ask the Oracle a personal question. War is personal, Barnabas. So, you came to seek the Pythia's guidance on how to end the war? I did. Though something is wrong in Delphi. Guards at every turn, people being turned away. You don't seem convinced the Pythia can be believed. What did she tell you? I asked her to show the path to the war's end. She said, spring should not wish for winter, as it brings death with it. Such wisdom! I don't understand a word of it, but that's why she's in there and we're out here. I know a threat when I hear one. <laughs> you were on Kefalonia for too long. This line is ridiculous. Are there always this many people to see the Pythia? These are more than just people. Every city sends a Fiori, or sacred ambassadors, to seek guidance on behalf of their people. The Pythia not only shapes the destinies of individuals, but of the entire Greek world. Imagine what power one would have if they controlled what came out of her mouth. Apollo controls this! Of course he does. Delphi is nothing like they say. Has it always been like this? No. This was once an open and welcoming place. But war changes things. People seek out the Pythia for more political reasons. Prophecies in times of war often stir violent emotions. It's wise to keep your blades sheathed. Drawing blood in Delphi is considered an insult to Apollo. Punishment is severe. I have my own questions for the Pythia, but this line... I'll be an old man by the time I see her. <laughs> You're joking! You carry more blades than a field of grass! I didn't come here to start trouble. Trouble? Just walk in! Who's going to stop you? The priest! <laughs> Alright, but if things get out of hand, I'm blaming you, Varnavas. Is he not every bit as great as I said? I'm here to see the Pythia. Only those chosen by the light of Apollo may enter. How does one get chosen? One goes to the back of the line. Do I look like someone who waits in line? Enter into the light of Apollo, the light that illuminates shadow. Choose your question wisely, mortal, for you have but one. Speak, truth seeker! I lost my mother when I was young. I have to find her. Where is she? It's you! From the visions! The child on the mountain! How could you know that? You need to leave. Now. Leave? Do you have any idea what I've been through to get here? Oh, but I do. While in Kausos, you didn't cower in the face of the priest. A child and her family still live thanks to you. But... how? No one can hide from the light. Please. I've come this far. You must have the answers I seek. Child of the Mountain. The cult of Cosmos have eyes everywhere. They will kill you. Cult of Cosmos? The Oracle has spoken! The prophecy is yours! You never answered my question! The Pythia is done for the day. I'm not leaving until I get answers!
The Rotados? You're still here. Where's Varnavas? He's gone back to your ship. You don't look happy with your prophecy. She... knew who I was. <laughs> She's the Pythia. It's her business to act like she knows you. That was no act. She said she had visions of me as a child on a mountain. What child hasn't stood on a mountain? I was thrown from that mountain. My life started and ended on that mountain. I'm telling you, she knew who I was, what I'd done. Tried to warn me. Warn you? About what? She mentioned the cult of Cosmos. Does this mean anything to you? I'd heard whispers. A cult unlike any other coming to Delphi. But I paid them no mind. The Pythia seemed afraid of them. Guards took her away. Took her away? Then the whispers were true. If this cult has corrupted the Pythia... This is devastating news. Do you understand what this means? Through her, the cult controls the world. I need to speak with her when she's not so well protected. That would require a miracle from the gods. She is always protected. You know more about the Pythia than I do. Where would she be? When she's not in the temple of Apollo, she's at her home in the Hora of Delphi. I can't go breaking down every door until I find her. The Oracle's home is probably easy enough to spot. She'd be the only person in the Hora of Delphi who can afford to live in luxury. Where in the Hora of Delphi does the Pythia live? I've heard she lives on the outskirts of the village, but be warned, she will be guarded. Not everyone comes to see the Oracle with the best of intentions. I'll find where the Pythia lives. And I will get answers. Alexios, don't forget. Brute force is useless when finesse is required. <laughs>